けど。まあ、一応、スピンクソスに。So you'll come to the head to knee position.、Um, and you can either do this in half lotus. With the foot bent up like this. No, actually, I think we'll do this version today. We'll do it with the, the leg bent along the ground, focusing more on the second center. So we'll have this more of that sense of that openness, but with the,、um, the body looking over the leg. Let's take both arms up. Pause. So we'll come back to our idea of the kind of polarity we've got on the one hand, that feeling of the ground underneath us, on the other hand, a sense of that real lift with the body, with uprightness. Let's change to the other side. We'll just do this starting position to begin with. The legs are well grounded. The body grows up out of the second center. Stay with that sense of that polarity, the grounding of your legs, the rising up of the upper body into free space. Free breath. And back down again, change sides again. So let's add in this mental picture that from these legs that flow along the ground, our energy is going to gather in at the second center. And then from there, it's going to power the upper body, which can flow up and then start to flow forwards. So, first of all, feel the legs on the ground. Picture the energy gathering in at the second center. So, that you have something that gives you a sense of power to stream up into that upper body, really lifting it up high. Then you can start to come forwards. So, energy flows through the legs to gather at the second center and from there outwards, carrying you far out, far out over the leg and go beyond, far, far beyond the foot. Let's come back up again. I won't come into the final position just yet because there's a bit of a temptation to collapse if you haven't built up the tension enough. Change over to the other side. Very good. Grounding of the legs. We feel that first quite consciously. We picture how the energy flows and gathers in at the second center. As the strength gathers in that. Region. We then stream upwards. The energy powers this body to stream up and then outwards, breath flowing, looking at your fingers or even beyond. Stay with that mental picture. The energy flows backwards along your leg, your leg gathers at the second center, then outwards through the spine, carrying you far, far forwards. And、turn up again, lengthening up through the spine, right the way up, and take the hands down. I'm going to repeat it once again. This time we'll come into the final position, but do make sure not to just eventually give up the activity and collapse down onto the leg. There's always that sense of growing beyond, coming back to our theme, growing into something new. So the legs remain firm and grounded. We picture the energy gathering at the second center. We picture it streaming up and carrying us upwards and then outwards and into the length, into something new and beyond, something unknown. Streaming up more and more. So the leg that's gathering the power as it draws backwards. The leg is lengthening backwards. The body glides forwards into something new and unknown, keeping on streaming out and out. And even when you take your hands right down, 
you can still keep that sense that they're gliding forwards, they're sliding forwards along the ground. So you look out the head towards your fingers. Leg moves back, it glides forwards. Back up again. Right way up high. And take the hands down. Change sides again. Keep the breath flowing freely. Whatever, what, however much you're challenging yourself, keep the breath freely. Free. The um, leg grows back. You picture the energy gathering at the second center. Then from that center streaming up through the spine. And as the leg lengthens back, so the body streams out forwards through the spine, through the arms, looking ahead at the fingers, keeping on going beyond. Free breath. The more the leg draws back, the more the body streams out forwards. The two directions work together. When you take your hands down, continue that sense of growing forwards. But remember that the growing forwards comes out of the movement back through the leg. Then come back again. Taking the arms right up. Stream up and then hands down. Relish. We'll come to the position now where we start to come down in between our legs rather than over the straightened leg. We're going to come in between the two. We still have one leg bent. So we've got our theme that we're moving beyond our usual um, behaviour patterns or our usual ideas or our usual motivations in life. We're moving beyond into something new, into a different kind of ideals and goals, something that is beyond ourselves, beyond what is familiar. So we have very much as we come into this forward bend, a sense of something new and unknown and unfamiliar. And what's really unfamiliar in a, a, a physical sense is that normally we would think of moving forwards like that. So now we're going to do it in a completely different way. We have to let go of that habit. And instead, we have to trust in our legs. Completely unfamiliar thing normally to do. Trusting in the legs, not in the usual upper body to carry us forwards. So when you sit like this, be aware then of the legs. These are where you're placing your trust. They're firmly on the ground. Sitting bones are firmly on the ground. The second centre is gathering your power. So you have a trust in that. And with your trust in that, the upper body can remain much more free. So there really is an experience of trust in this exercise. Direct the sitting bones back and keep the upper body as if it's kind of freely suspended. The legs are always doing the work. You can direct your sitting bones backwards more powerfully and as you do that you can feel how the strength gathers in the sacrum, in the pelvis. The upper body is held. It's, it's free to glide outwards. It's free to be carried out and carried forwards. So breath is flowing. Come back up again. Right way up high. Breathing. Breathing up a bit more. Take the hands down. Change the legs around. So let's start then with this awareness of the legs, the all-important part of the body that we're going to trust in. The gathering at the sacrum. Upper body remaining really high and free. 
the arms coming up, the face remaining relaxed. Three breath. So the legs are really well grounded. And as we start to tilt forwards from the hips, you can start to actively stream forwards and out. But the activity doesn't come in the usual way from the upper body reaching forwards. It comes from the sitting bones pushing back. Come back again. Right the way up on it. Take the hands down. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to hold it a little bit longer so that we have time to let the body come down further. But it's not that we try to come down further. We trust in the legs and see how far they will release the body out into that um, closeness to the ground. We'll take the awareness back to the legs as if they're drawing, centering in the sacrum. The upper body really high and free, fingers relaxed, face relaxed. Sitting bones are directed backwards. The upper body is held in the space. The so legs are doing all the work. Growing back with your hips more and more. Looking ahead at your hands, but not trying to reach out. Letting the legs and the pelvis guide your body down farther and farther, gliding outwards along the ground. Keep moving. Come back again. Take both arms up. Legs stay grounded, upper body high and free. Come back down. Changing around. Legs flowing along the ground. Upper body really raised. We have this theme that we're moving out into something new. We can start drawing the sitting bones back. We're not coming forwards in the usual familiar way, but rather with trusting in our legs and allowing a real openness, a real sense of something new, unknown and familiar ahead of us as we let the body be carried forwards and out, trusting in that strength and power of the pelvic region, the sacrum, the legs. And back up again, taking both arms right up on you. Take the hands down. Take both of your legs wide out into this wide stretch. Face is relaxed, the breath is free, the neck is relaxed. So we can have a good sensation now of both legs on the ground. And a good sensation of this real openness and freedom of the upper body. Right up high, we stream up high. As the sitting bones go down into the ground, the spine streams up into the height. You can take your arms wide out into the openness. This is a wide stretch. Not only are the legs wide, but the arms can be wide. Now the movement comes from the legs. The trust in the legs, the sitting bones are directed backwards. The upper body is widely opened out. Your chest can open out to the front. The arms streaming out sideways. Upper body gradually comes closer to the ground, but the activity is done by directing the legs backwards the hips backwards, the abdomen draws towards the floor, the head looks out ahead. Keep breathing. 
You can rest your hands on your feet or on your legs or on the floor. Keep that sense of length through the spine that comes from the second centre. And come back again. And so right the way up. Right the way up. Take the hands down. Okay, just loosen out your legs. And we'll do one final position along these lines. And this is the turtle. So with the turtle, it's actually can be slightly easier than the wide stretch. You'd have to take your arms right underneath the knees. You can be aware again of the second centre as being that central point and how as you glide forwards, the energy flows from that centre through the spine. The feeling of this is that we have like a central axis through the spine and the legs, all the limbs kind of move out like the turtle's limbs moving out from under its shell. So we remain aware of the spine. Take the hands under your knees so the palms are on the floor. Take your awareness to the sacrum right from the start. And think of directing the growth from the sacrum forwards along the spine. The arms and the legs glide outwards. The spine is lengthened along the floor. And then to come out of the position, you need to draw your hand back into the middle so that you can then push yourself up once again into the sitting position. Mm -hmm. 